Studios in Lucky Town, where the teachers never have to send students to the principal's office. It's time for fun and fortune! Clarice Barkley. From Springfield, a route supervisor, Bob Ballard. Or from Jefferson City, a hairdresser, Joyce Terry. We'll find out on Missouri's own game show, Fun <laughs> Thanks for joining us, uh, this guy here. That's Rick Tamblin. Uh, and, uh, you know, she's Penny Green. <laughs> Together, we're going to do the best, our best, to award one lucky contestant more than $100,000 tonight, right here. <laughs> Fraternity Champ is ready for more. She's Marilyn Brandon, a homemaker from Joplin, already won $75,888. Right. Best of luck to our champ and our challengers. We hope everyone has a great time. Yeah, a great time like we had last month with the second chance for Fun and Fortune Mall Tour. That's right. Our final stop was Westfield Shopping Town in Crestwood. And here's our top prize winner, Lolita Crump, a student from the St. Louis area who took home $800. <laughs> Yeah, Lolita had fun, and so did I, Penny. That's right, I know. Uh, check this out. Have you seen Rick Tamblin? Rick Tamblin? No. Have you seen Rick Tamblin? No, I don't think I've seen him at all here today. No. Have you seen Rick? No, I haven't. No. No, I haven't, but I'd like to. Boy, one of these things about these mall tours is I kind of lose Rick. I've got one idea. Let's see if he's in here. Rick, Rick, honey, not the place for you. Excuse me, how much for this whole thing? It, was, it, it, was, it wasn't for me. <laughs> yeah, right. A likely story. <laughs> we better get started before you get into any more trouble. All right, let's meet our contestant. <laughs> Joyce, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're a hairdresser? That's right. What's the hot new style right now? Anything. Just anything goes? There's right. a flock of seagulls coming back pretty soon with it. <laughs> you know what I liked about that? Nothing. <laughs> oh, partner is uh, Kenneth Gibson of Liberty. Where'd you buy your ticket? Westview Mini Mart in Jefferson City. Okay. I want you to win a bunch of our money. Good luck. Big Bob is here. Bob Ballard, you've worked on a pit crew in the past? Yes. A little bit on stock car racing, dirt tracks. What'd you do? For the lift up the car while they yeah, the tire? A little bit of everything. Did tire you? changer and everything. Good yeah. for you. Well, that sounds like fun. Home partner's uh, Madeline Easley of Novinger. Where'd you buy your ticket? Uh, Rapid Roberts in Battlefield, Missouri. Okay. What a bunch of money. Clarice. Yes. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Your favorite movie of all time is what? War of the Roses. And, and then you... you and had Misery that. was the second Misery one. was another one, too. <laughs> <laughs> we, know what, uh, we know what genre you're going for. Okay, home partner is uh, Ann Leggett of St. Louis. Where'd you buy your ticket? I bought my ticket at Deerberg's Mid-River, St. Peter's. Okay, good luck to you. Thank Win you. all of our money. And Penny, Thank what's you. waiting for the player who uncovers the four-leaf clover? Well, it's a seven-foot pool table featuring an oak finish and a diamond cone slate playing surface. The table comes complete with cue sticks, balls, and an accessory kit. It's manufactured by Anna Playmaster in Bland, Missouri. Good luck, everyone. Sounds great. Time to play our version of Nine Ball. Now, to get things started, the computer will break the balls and randomly form a triangle. There they go. First player to complete any side of the triangle wins the amount spelled out. So you could win $1,698, $8,457, or $7,231. And it is possible to complete two sides of the triangle with one move. Do that, you win the total of both sides. More about that when we get there. Right now, down below, we're gonna hide the matching balls and X's. And don't forget, if you find the lucky four-leaf clover, you win that AMF Playmaster pool table. Everybody starts with $500 and three strikes. And Clarice, start us off. Find one of the nine balls. I would like box number 17, please. Well, let's do that for you. 17 for Clarice. She found our first ball up there? No, our first strike instead. Bob, where are they? Let's try box number three. We'll do that. Box three. The other end of the digits. What's he got there? Strike there, too. All right, Joyce, come on. Find the first box. Uh, box 15. Here we go. Box 15 for Joyce. First one, right? Here it is. 
Three strikes in a row. All right, let's start over, Clarice. OK, box number four, please. Let's do it here. Looking for our first of nine balls, is it? Yeah, there we go. Seven ball in the corner pocket for $100, Clarice. Way to go. Now, you can play or pass. And don't forget about that four-leaf I will pass. Pass it over. She's saving those last two strikes, I'll Bob. Try box number 10. Let's try it. Box 10 for Bob. Got some work to do on this triangle. How's he doing? No, a strike there, too, for Bob's already down to one strike. Joyce. Box number nine. Let's try that. Box nine. Looking for another ball up there. Joyce, do it. There it is. Eight ball. Another corner. Filling in the corners of this triangle for $100. Joyce, way to go. You can play or pass right now. Plenty of balls pass. left up there. Passing it over. All right. Everyone's playing it safe. Clarice. I would like box 18. Let's try it. Box 18 for Clarice. Doing pretty well on the bottom line. No, oh, strike there. She's down to one. Bob, already you're on your last strike. Need to find a ball here. Stay in this game. Better hope for box number six. Let's try it. Box six. Need to keep Big Bob in this game. Is he in? Yes. There we go. Found all the corner balls. We'll put that in the side pocket for $100, I'll Bob. Pass. And he already knows he wants to pass. Still haven't seen the four-leaf clover. Look at all these uh, middle parts we got to fill in on this triangle, Joyce. Box number one. Let's try that. In the middle of every line, each two-ball segment. How's box one? No, and she's down to one strike, as uh, is everyone else. Look at this. Clarice, your last strike right now, sitting on 600 bucks. Find one of these balls and stay in it. I'd like box number eight, please. Eight, we'll do it. Let's see if that keeps Clarice in the game. She in? No. no. First casualty of this round. This is a tough board today, folks. Bob, on your last strike, you need it right here. I think I'll try box 13. He's got to do it right here. Otherwise, we're going to depend on Clarice. What is it? Four. No. Thank you. $100. We'll put that four in the side pocket for you. Now, look, we're one ball away on that bottom thing, Bob. Bottom line, five ball. What do you want to do, play or pass? I'll pass. He's saving that strike. Joyce, look at this. Still five balls up there. Plenty of boxes. You're on your last strike. Need a ball right here. Okay. Four, box 14. 14 it is for Joyce to stay in the game. It's got to be one of her balls, is it? Six ball. Way to go, Joyce. Very nice for $100. Knock it into the corner. Nice bank shot, Joyce. You're up to 700 bucks, Joyce. Last strike is right now. We're one ball away on two sides from finishing off this thing. And you want to save the strike, too. Bob, your last strike. You can finish it off right now. We'll if, try box number 11. If it's the nine or the five, he's in there. He's going to the bonus. Is 11 good? No. Yeah. Ball. He's good. Bob, way to go. $1,698 for Bob Ballard to Springfield. Madeline Easy, 169 bucks for her and Elvinger. Terry gets 700 bucks. Clarice, 600 bucks. There was our four leaf clover. the last box. We'll come back in a second. Welcome back to Fun and Fortune. One final opening remains for the big $10,000 championship round. And it's time for us to meet the three players who are going to battle it out to become the third qualifier. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Start with Debbie. Debbie's proxy in today. Yes. Who's your friend you're playing for? Barbara Holmes. All right, good deal. You got another home partner, too, that you may, have, may not have known about. It's Junior Pasley of St. Joseph. Where did uh, Barbara buy her ticket? At Casey's General Store in Potosi. Okay, good luck to you and to her. CT. Got a job where they let you make dynamite? Yes, I do. Wow. Is it just a blast? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> is it, uh, are you quality control? Who does that? Uh, I don't know his name. Okay. <laughs> He's not with us anymore. All are. <laughs> Actually, we all are. <laughs> we all are. Home partner is uh, Betty Seitz of O'Fallon. Where'd you buy your ticket? Vista Stores in Carthage. Okay, good luck to you. What a bike. Lisa's here. And Lisa, what'd you say your pet peeve was? When I'm talking with somebody, they keep repeating themselves over and over. They and always over. Yeah, say the just same thing over same and over thing. and over and over. I yes. hate that too. I really hate that. Man, I cannot stand that when people do that. 
It bugs me. It does me. Okay, too. you too. Uh, home partner is Anita Banks of Cassville. Where'd you buy your ticket? Country Express in Marshfield. All right. Win a bunch of money. All right. And win a bunch of money. First player who finds a first date during this game wins what prize, Penny? <laughs> it's a prepaid calling card worth 2,400 minutes of long-distance calling time from Sprint, your local and long-distance carrier. Best of luck, players! And best of luck, players. <laughs> Thanks, and let's play Crazy Eights. Now, to get things started, we're going to shuffle up this deck of cards and deal them out. We'll put the four of each suit on the money line while down below the computer deals out 21 cards, all between ace and eight. It's your job to find a card which raises up its suit. You do that and you're safe. If you lower, that's a strike. The last player in the game wins whatever's spelled out on the money line. Okay, board is ready. All four eights are hidden. And uh, you find the first eight, you win the Sprint pre uh, prepaid phone card. Better than that, you find the fourth eight, you automatically win the game and $8,888. Yeah. So two ways to win. Be the last player or find that fourth eight. And we've got the lucky uh, lottery logo hidden up there on the board too. Everybody starts with $500 and three strikes. Lisa, you need to start us off. You need to find any card higher than a four. And keep in mind, please, that aces are ones. Give me card 18, please. Let's do it. Card 18. Get us started here for Lisa. She raised one of these suits up. Yes, she did with a five of spades. Very nice. Made yourself $100 just that quick. Now, every time you raise a suit, you get 100 bucks just like that. Lisa, player pass. Pass, please. Pass it over. Saving the strike. CT. Uh, can I have card number 12, please? All right, let's see if we can blow up one of those suits for CT. Card 12. Can you raise it up? No. Lowered back down those spades over there with a two, and that cost you a strike, CT. Debbie? I'll take card number 10. Here we go. Card 10 for Debbie. Pretty easy board right now. About where we left it, is it? No. Way down on the diamonds. Debbie cost you a strike, too. Lisa? Card number 21, please. All right, let's get after this thing right now. Card 21. You raising it up? Yes, barely, but the three of spades raised it back up, made you $100. All right, Lisa, look at this. Pretty easy board right now. You can play again or you can pass. I'll pass. Passing it over, CT. Uh, card number six, please. Let's try card six this time, see if he can raise it up. Can he do it? No! <laughs> CT down to one strike already. Man, these boards are tough tonight. All right, Debbie, you see where it is. I'll take card number eight. Real easy board right now. Easiest I've seen. Card eight. He raised something up. She did? Yes, Lucky Logo. Excuse me. Debbie, way to go. Lucky Logo in this game. $300 of Deuces Wild Scratchers tickets. Deuces Wild $1 ticket. Top prize, $2,500. Way to go. You got a lot of scratching to do. Now, you can play or you can pass. I think I'll pass. Passing it over. All right, Lisa, you're the only one finding any good cards. Card number three, please. Let's try that. Card three. Still looking for our first aid up here. She raised one up? No! Look at this board. It's going so far down. CT. All right. There's no way. No way you can lower any of these suits. Now, come on. One strike left. You got to stay in this thing. Let's go with card 16. 16 it is. Come on. CT needs a good card. Did he raise something up here? Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Way to go. Nice one. Raises a suit, shuts it off. The Sprint prepaid calling card is yours, TT. You uh, CT, also $100. Clubs are closed off. No clubs anymore. They're not going to do you any good. Not going to raise or lower that eight. Player pass. I'm going to pass. Pass it over and save that last strike. Debbie. I'll try card number four, please. Okay, just about anything but a club is going to be pretty good. Card four. She raise it up. Six of hearts. Very nice. $100, Debbie. You made 100 bucks. Still a fairly easy money line. You can play or pass. I'll pass. Okay. Lisa. Card 19. Let's try that. Card 19 for Lisa this time. Can't be a club. Anything else is pretty good, right? Oh. It's a club. That's down to one strike for Lisa. CT still on your last strike. Good luck here. Uh, card 15. 15 for CT. He raised up one of these last three. No. A club and CT is out with a sprint card and 600 bucks. Debbie. I'll try card number one, please. Let's do that. Card one. Still have only one eight up on this board. What'd she do? Six of clubs. She's down to one strike. Lisa, here it is for you. You're sitting on $700 and, more importantly, one strike. You need that strike to finish the game. If you don't find one of these uh, higher cards and one of these last remaining suits, this is Debbie's money. Number, uh, box, or card 11, please. Let's do it. Card 11. She's got to raise one up right here and stay in it. Did she do it? Yeah! Way to go! 
Lisa, saved yourself right there. $100 for finding that second eight. And look at this. Two suits are closed up. Hearts and clubs. Play or pass? I'll pass. Passing it over, Debbie. Now it's a tough money line. You have to have a high spade or a, just about any diamond will do. I'll take card number seven, please. She does it here. Otherwise, this is Lisa's money, and she moves on to the bonus. Card seven, raise it. Yes, it does. Way to go. Put the spades up there with a seven. Hundred dollars you made. Play or pass, Debbie? Pass. Passing it over, Lisa. It's a little tougher now. Only the eight of spades is going to save you, but any diamond is good news. Card number 20. Okay, here we go. If she doesn't raise one up, it costs her the game. What's it going to be? Eight of spades. Lisa, way to go. $100 for finding the eight of spades. We're playing for over $8,880 automatically. Now, you can try to finish it right here with the last eight, or you can save that strike. Pass. Passing it over, Debbie. Everything. It's got to be a diamond, or better yet, the eight to win it. Otherwise, then it'll be Lisa's money. OK, I'll take card 14. Let's try it, card 14. What's that going to do for Debbie? Raise it up. Yes, it did. Two or three. $100 for finding the three. Play or pass? Pass. She's going to pass it back. <laughs> Look at this, five cards left. One of them we know is the eight of diamonds. That's the one you need right now to finish this game, Lisa, on your last strike. Card number two. Let's try it, card two. What a game this has turned into. Is she in it and winning it? Yes! Lisa! $8,888 for Lisa Hoskins. Anita Banks and Cashville, her own partner, gets $888. CT, Sprint Card, $600 cash. Debbie, the Scratchers tickets are $900. Bucks. We're coming back right after this. Big bonus time. Another professionally trained announcer named Ray. And Ray, you know what to say, don't you? Yes, sir. All right. And here's our Lucky Town News Flash. Wow! Yeah. Thanks, Ray. That was great. It's early April, and that means two of my favorite ball games are beginning a new season. One is baseball, the other is the new 100 k triple play game from the Missouri Lottery. 100 k triple play is a numbers game offering players the chance to select four balls ranging from 1 through 51. The game costs $2 and provides three separate games and seven chances to win on every ticket. The top prize is $100,000 tax paid. <laughs> 100K Triple Play's first drawing was fr Friday, April 7th. The game is being offered for a limited time and is only drawn on Fridays. Buy your tickets from now through June 30th, because unlike baseball, the 100K Triple Play season won't last long. Oh, yeah. Isn't that great? For more details on the 100K Triple Play, check out the lottery's website at molottery.com. And we're ready for the details on these three contestants. All right. Who's on deck for tonight's $10,000 <laughs> championship? Joining tonight's two qualifiers are returning champ Marilyn Brandon, a homemaker from Joplin who has already won $75,888. Marilyn, welcome back. Thank you. Who was your home partner? David Cronk of Arnold. All right, good luck to you. Lisa, who are you playing for? Beverly Hicks of St. Louis. We barely made it out of that last round. Um, and Big Bob is back. Bob, who's your home partner? Tim Hubbard of Morseville. All right, time to get started. Let's play the championship game. Folks, this is where we hide only four zeros on the board, but the player who finds the fourth zero picks up $10,000, get a chance to turn the 10 into as much as $100,000. Everybody starts with three strikes. And Mr. Computer, if you scramble up the board, I'll tell all the folks here and all the folks at home that the player who wins the most money in this game returns next week as champion on Fun and Fortune. Bob, if you're ready, please call a box, find that first zero. Let's try box six. Let's do it, box six for Bob. First to four zeros here. No. First of maybe many strikes. We'll see. Marilyn. Box number four. All right. Box four for Marilyn. The good news? No. Strike there, too. Lisa. Box number 12. Let's try that. Box 12. $10 zero. Is it here? Ah, three strikes across the board. Bob. Let's try box number five. Here we go again. Box five. First zero right now? No. Marilyn, you got that uh, four-leaf clover still from last week? I still have it. Is it not dead or anything? Uh, not yet. OK, call a box. Box number three. Here we go. Box three for Marilyn. First of four zeros. Is it here? Yes! OK. 
All right, just had to check. Now three zeros left up there, Marilyn. You can try for 100 bucks right now or pass. I'll pass. Passing it over, Lisa. Box number nine. Let's see, there's three zeros up there. Is this the second one? Here it is. $100 for Lisa. Very nice. You're leading the round with 100 bucks, Lisa. Two zeros left up there in what, seven boxes? Player pass. Pass. Passing it over. She's saving those strikes. Bob, it's down to you right now. Last strike. Let's try box number 13. He's either in with 1,000 bucks or he's out. What is it going to be? All right. All right. Bob, very nice. In with $1,000. You're leading the round right now. You have one strike left. Player pass. I'm going to pass. Passing it over. Give someone else the first shot at this thing. One zero left. Marilyn, you find it right now. We're going to move on to the multiplier. Box number seven. We'll see if she can take that 10 bucks up to 10 grand. Is she going to do it here? Not yet. Marilyn's down to one strike. Lisa, in the meantime, sitting on 100 bucks. Where is it? Box number 11. All right. Our last zero. Is it behind box 11 for Lisa? No, and everybody's down to one strike. Look at this. Four boxes left. One of them is a zero. It's worth 10,000 bucks. And Bob, here you go. Let's try box number 10. He's going to show us where it is. Says it's behind box 10. Is Bob right? Oh. No, but he is leading the round with $1,000. Marilyn, sitting on 10 bucks. Where is that $10,000 zero? Box number eight. Eight. She says it's box eight for another trip to the multiplier. Is she right? Oh. No, and she finishes with 10 bucks. Lisa, you're sitting on 100 bucks. Now, 50-50 shot. Where is it? Number two. Box two. She says it's behind box two for 10 grand. Is she moving on? Oh. No, no, she's not. But Bob is our new champion with $1,000. Big Bob Ballard of Springfield. We're going to add 1000 bucks to his total. Where is it? There's the last zero. We'll come back in a second and add up all this money we gave away. Hey, Fun and Fortune fans, if you want to be on the game show and get a chance to win $100,000, pick up a Fun and Fortune Scratchers ticket. Ask your favorite lottery retailer for details. Fortune. Holy cow, we gave away a lot of money in the last half hour. Look at Lisa Hoskins, $8,988. What are you going to do with all that money? Put it in the bank. <laughs> Put it in the bank. Way to go. Nice having you on the show. Thanks Thank for you. coming and come back again soon. Got to say goodbye to Marilyn. Two uh. week total, $75,898, folks. Two weeks. And Marilyn, you're going to take that down to Florida and have some fun? Sure am. Take the family down there? Mm -hmm. Well, listen, it's been great having you as our champion. You come back. Thank you. Okay. Penny's here with our new champ, Big Bob. That's right. Bob Ballard out of Springfield. $2,698 today. Uh, not bad. That's not bad. That means you're coming back, which is yeah. a good thing. Uh, I enjoy that. So, Bob, uh, what's everybody going to say at work? Uh, congratulations, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be asking you to spring for lunch every now and then, yeah, too, huh? That could happen, yeah. So, you're a route supervisor. What, uh, what does that entail? Uh, I work with all my route men, train them, and uh, pick up more business. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You gonna train them how to play fun and fortune? No, I'll keep that to myself. Okay, <laughs> sounds good to me. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. We'll try again next week for a hundred thousand with Bob. Tune in next week as these players compete for more than one hundred thousand dollars in cash and prizes. While in town, contestants stay at the Drury Inn at Union Station, located in downtown St. Louis. Ground transportation provided by Jed Limousine.